Hey Pisces, rising storm here. So I'm going. I'm about to do your general love reading for now until the end of May 2023. Keep in mind that these are general readings. Take what applies. Feel free to switch storylines however you would like. All right. So I'm going to be looking into your overall view, your energies, uh, Pisces, the person that you're dealing with. Right. Why is it all happening and the possible outcome for now until the end of May 2023? What is going on with Pisces and the person that Pisces is dealing with here? What is happening? Pisces, you got the full um, as the overall. You can be dealing with an uh, Aries. What's going on, Pisces? Five of Swords in reverse. All right, you could be done with a heavy fire sign, air, water, I, I got as well. But we'll see what's going on. Show me the fool. Why the fool card here? What is this fool about? Show me the fool. Show me the fool card. Yeah, there's this energy of waiting to have some, uh, waiting to have a brand new beginning or taking a leap of faith. So there's this energy of wanting to have a new beginning, uh, a new start waiting for a new start possibly as well there's this energy of wanting to invest why is that five of swords in reverse show me the five of swords in reverse what is this five of swords in reverse about wanting to come out of conflict Ooh. so there's definitely this energy of wanting to come out of conflict so maybe at some point in time there was some sort of conflict or some sort of struggle or drama associated with all this be dealing with the Taurus here, but I'm getting there's this energy of wanting to come out of conflict or wanting to reconcile to have a higher level of commitment with the Hierophant there, to have something solid. So coming out of conflict, wanting to reconcile, uh, getting to a point of commitment or stability here. What is this Five of Wands in reverse? What's the Five of Wands in reverse? Yeah, to have a brand new start. So this is definitely this energy of wanting to come out of conflict, wanting to come out of some sort of period of uh, a falling out, wanting to have a higher level of commitment or get to a point of stability with this Ace of Pentacles for a brand new start. Your person has the Knight of Wands in reverse. What is this Knight of Wands in reverse for? Yeah, so... Whoever this is, there's there's this energy. I don't feel like you guys are, are in communication right now. But your person, Pisces, they're in this energy of not really coming, co coming in to communicate with you. If anything, they're giving up or they're in this energy of giving up, throwing in the towel, not fighting for this. So they go from not fighting for this, not doing any work, kind of just giving up, not really communicating to still having a hard time walking away emotionally. What is this Eight of Cups in reverse about? What is this Eight of Cups in reverse for? What is this Eight of Cups in reverse about? Oh, man. What's the Eight of Cups in reverse about here? Yeah, but then again, they go from not... Not fighting for this connection, throwing it away, not even communicating to uh, having a hard time moving on and I want to come back around. So they're, they're, it's like they're, <laughs> Pisces, you can take it how it resonates, but like there's one side here where it's like, I'm sure that you're looking to have a reconciliation of a higher level of commitment. And then the person that you're dealing with Pisces is like, eh, you know, I'm just not going to do this right now. I'm not going to fight for it. I'm kind of just going to give this up. And then they go from there to like, well, I haven't really emotionally walked away and I want to come back around. So they go back and forth here. So one minute they're like, you know, screw this. And the next minute it's like, oh, I want to just express some sort of emotion or come back around or reveal myself. Why is what happening? The two of wands in reverse. So not making a decision here. What is this two of wands in reverse about? What's this two of wands in reverse for? Yeah, the strength cards. You could be dealing with the Leo. doesn't have to be. But not making a decision and holding back. So a lot of stagnancy for why it's all happening. Uh, how does Pisces see this person? Show me. How does Pisces see this person here? <clears throat> how does Pisces see this person? King of Wands in reverse. Why the King of Wands in reverse? 
What is this King of Wands in reverse for? You see them as someone who's not communicating with you right now. But it's like you want to, you see this person as someone who's a player or has playboy, playgirl tendencies. You see this person as someone who uh, isn't really chasing after you. You see this person as someone who's unstable or they're not stable at all. Four of Wands in reverse. So it's like you see this person as someone who has a history of being a player. What? What is this King of Wands in reverse for? You see this person as someone who maybe kept their options open. How does this person see Pisces? How does this person see Pisces here? Three of Cups in reverse. Why the Three of Cups in reverse? So you see Pisces. You see this person as someone... They see you, Pisces, as someone who's being emotionally distant. Three of Cups in reverse. What? It's like they see you as someone that... Why is that Three of Cups in reverse? Why the Three of Cups in reverse for? you as someone who's cut them off so they see you as someone who possibly cut them off someone who may not want to come together in that type of a way or reconnect emotionally with this three of cups in reverse they see you as someone who's cut them off or someone who's not come coming together or expressing any type of feelings or emotions right now at this time but at the same time they see you as the hermit in reverse i feel like so at, on some level they want to come back around out of the cold towards you though what is this hermit about? It's like they want to come back around, but they know they messed something up or they know that the situation was more draining emotionally or there was some sort of disconnection between the two of you. What? Uh, what are Pisces' next actions when it comes to this person, if not yet already? What are Pisces' next actions, if not yet already? The Six of Cups. Why the Six of Cups? And the Nine of Cups in reverse. I don't see much action, though. If anything, I'm getting you being more thinking about this person or more... Like, this person's constantly on your mind, overthinking a lot. Like... The Nine of Cups in reverse, a wish unfulfillment. This was more energy. This was this. You didn't, you didn't get what you wanted or this wish fulfillment out of this person that you were dealing with. But it's like your next actions is just to think about this person or this person being on your mind heavily with that Six of Cups there. I don't see much actions though. It's kind of like you think about this person a lot, and then it's like, damn, you know, you didn't get what you wanted out of the situation with them. Uh, what are this person's next actions towards Pisces, if not yet already? What can you tell me? What are this person's next actions, if not yet already? The Page of Cups in reverse. They're very closed off emotionally, though. The Three of Wands. So, I see them waiting. So, I don't really see much action. If anything, I get that this is someone who's emotionally closed off, or they're emotionally distant. Page of Cups in reverse. But at the same time, there's this energy of them waiting. They could possibly be waiting for some sort of communication. With this three of wands there. I'm getting them being closed off emotionally and waiting for something. To, what is this three of wands? What's this three of wands about? The hangman in reverse. Nine of cups. Two of pentacles. I'm getting them waiting for something. Waiting for possibly you to reach out to them. That's what I'm getting there. But they're closed off emotionally. Like, they're very emotionally distant. Um, what are Pisces... Uh, what are Pisces' intentions with this person? What are Pisces' intentions with this person? Three of Pentacles. Why the Three of Pentacles? Your intentions is to be friends with them. Or at least get to a point where you guys could be casual with one another. Or friendly with one another. Or see... Things, you know, um, come together on the same page. So is it your intentions is to be friends with them, come out of conflict, 
What in the world? What is this tower about? Yeah, there was some sort of falling out or some sort of ending that happened. But it's like your intentions is to be more, to become friends with this person or collaborate or come together. Show me the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, the Sun card. You could be dealing with Leo, but it's like you're, you're looking to be friends or come together with this person. At least that's your intentions. They are your happiness here. What are this person's intentions with Pisces? What are this person's intentions with Pisces? What can you tell me? What else going on? The Nine of Swords. Why the Nine of Swords? So their intentions is to be very guarded, very closed off. And it's like they... I don't see much intent. Their intentions is to remain closed off or remain very guarded. So their intentions is to remain very much guarded, very closed off. I'm getting them overthinking the situation, right? There's a lot of anxiety on their behalf. They haven't really fully moved on, but yet at the same time, they're not speaking to you or they're acting like they're dropping this or they're not really fighting for this. But in reality, they're very much in their head overthinking about this. They're very guarded, so I'm getting their intentions is to be very guarded, very closed off, and not really open up, and be more kind of like in their head about this than anything. Uh, what's the possible outcome here from now until the end of uh, May for this situation? What can you tell me? What's the possible outcome here from now until the ending of May? What can you tell me? King of Pentacles? What's going on? Getting somebody here ignoring the death card. Why is all this happening? Six of Wands. What is this King of Pentacles? What is this Two of Swords in reverse? Show me the Two of Swords in reverse. The Moon. Yeah. What is this death card about? Could be done with another Pisces. What is this death card about? Temperance in reverse. Why is that King of Pentacles there one more time? Yeah, I don't see much energy or, or, or there, I don't feel like, it doesn't seem that there's no energy or time being put into this, even though there's this energy of still wanting to come correctly or wanting to have something serious, but at the end of the day, there's a lack of growth or expansion, or there's a lack of an equal give and take, or there's an, there's a lack of action in regards to really putting in the work. I'm getting somebody ignoring, and <laughs> so this is ignoring somebody here just ignoring a decision being very silent uh not trusting the moon what in the world i don't really see much communication if anything i feel like somebody here is just going to be ignoring there's this energy of ignoring making a decision being very silent not really giving into communication nor working on this and it's like after and, and it's like there's this ending that happened but at the same time someone's definitely in their feelings or in their emotions or having a hard time healing or fully letting this go at the same time with that temperance and reverse there to the death card it's like yeah there was an ending here but it's like i'm still not over it i'm still having a hard time balancing my emotions when it comes to this but then again it's like i'm just going to ignore it and i'm going to keep quiet and i'm going to remain silent because at the end of the day i'm not getting this equal give and take or there's no work really pulling in into this and it's like you know your worth with this king of pentacles but you're not receiving that what is this six of wands yeah why it's all happening you know having things being victorious and moving things forward but at the same time i'm getting somebody here just ignoring this why the temperance and reverse yeah, somebody here is going to be really in there. So I really don't get a lot. I don't get communication. If anything, I get like a lot of uh, dreamy, you know, in the clouds over kind of like overthinking communication or there's just a lot of things being, uh, I don't want to say up in the air, but it's like seven of cups. That's confusion. That's uncertainty. That's like, you know, different thinking about different ways on communication. Mm -hmm. This is more of like a fantasy or more like kind of dreamy about communication than anything else. That's what I'm really getting. 
but that was your reading if it resonated please like share subscribe leave a comment down below let me know thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you on the next video and god bless you guys